I saved the best for last, guys. Now, the appliance heroes are strange enough, but they are even stranger when, every now and then, one of them turns out to be really, really good. So, while the washing machine might be the best of the toy line, the refrigerator is a strong contender. Cast in yellow plastic, this mini fridge is pretty much what you expect, a solid brick of plastic all the way around. One thing I give this whole series, even if the plastic colors get inconsistent, they do try very hard to hide all the robot mode parts, or at least make the shape accurate. The one detailing is some silver trim on the front, edging the two doors and their handles. And actually, thanks to how the cartoon face transforms, the top door actually opens, and it's not a bad scale with your three three quarter inch toys. Now transforming this one, I probably wouldn't show you even if I could transform it on camera. It's not that it does anything particularly clever, but it is so good at hiding its alternate mode shell, way better than some transformers are. And it's such a surprise when a block refrigerator turns into this. When I first transformed this yellow brick of cheap plastic, I did not expect a fully formed, well-proportioned robot mode that's armed to the teeth. I'm actually really impressed by this one. The head's an oddity. The face is more silver with blue and, strangely, a different shade of yellow. Design-wise, it's the most transformer-looking of the bunch, kinda like Optimus Prime without his antenna. There's a bunch of new details showing, not only in some gold paint apps, but some heavy molding throughout the middle for some mechanical robot detailing. Amidst his remaining blocky shape, the details standing out the most are his armaments. The shoulder cannons are a bit dubious since the hollow side is plainly visible when they aren't pointing forward, but the arm cannons are what get me. The toy has no hands at all. This is a refrigerator who's designed only for shooting at all of the things. Articulation on him does okay. Neck rotates, shoulders are universal, and the elbows bend 90 degrees. The hips are universal, but with no knees, that leaves it only for splaying the legs outward. And then there is the anime mode, which is actually just as surprising, because as serious as the robot mode is, the cute mode shares it, with massive tank treads rather than stubby little legs like the others have. I also like the downward expression. He's easily the tallest, so it kind of makes sense for him. It's kind of a tough call which is better, the washing machine or the refrigerator. I leave you to make the decision for yourselves. Well, that does it for Appliance Heroes, both for Toy Sember and for the whole toy line. But I'm still in the mood to bring things back from the last Toy Sember. When we open tomorrow's present, another blast from the past.